Apophis, the most dangerous comet discovered in modern history, 99942. The trajectory and earthbound analysis, ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear League Project, how the heck are you? The Apophis set the record for the highest rating ever on the Torino scale, reaching level four. What does that mean? Well, that means there's a pretty good chance that it could hit Earth, at least according to the first calculation. Then they came out and said, oh, maybe not that dangerous. Oh, no, it's not quite that bad. Don't worry about it. Maybe seven years later, but right now, not a big deal. I actually do think this is something to keep your eyes open for. It's also known as APEP. This is directly from JPL. Also known as APEP, the destroyer. Apophis is the Egyptian god of evil and destruction who dwelled in eternal darkness as a result of its passage within 40,000 kilometers of the earth on 2029, April 13th. April 13th, how about that? It's probably Friday the 13th. Here's where it gets interesting. This minor planet will move from the Aten to the Apollo class. So, you say, well, it's a minor planet. What does that mean? Well, a minor planet could be a planet, a planetoid. It could be a dwarf planet. It could be a small body in the solar system. It could be a comet. It could be a trans-Neptunian object. It could be a satellite, a natural satellite, of course, not like the moon. Or a, cent a centaur. It could be a centaur, too. So what does the Aten class mean? Well, I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Aten or Aten? It's a group of asteroids whose orbit brings them into proximity with Earth. This group is named after 2062 Aten, the first of its kind discovered by American astronomer Eleanor Helen at Palomar Observatory. This was in 1976, January 7th. Since then, there's been over a thousand discoveries of these Aten asteroids. If you'd like to see a list of existing articles, you can go ahead and click this link here. What is an Apollo asteroid? It's a group of near-Earth asteroids named after 1862 Apollo, discovered by German astronomer Carl Rienmuth in the 1930s. They are Earth-crossing asteroids with an orbit of a semi-major axis greater than that of the Earth. Check this out. Will you just look at it? Look at this orbit of this comet. Now, what I'm going to share with you in just a minute adds to the possibility of a direct hit. And this is according to the math directly from these astronomers. Very interesting. So while you're looking at this, see how the paths cross. Initial conditions eventually used corresponds to the positions of Earth and Apophis today. You can see this right here. The orbit is about 323 and a half days. Apophis is one asteroid. This is from Chaos Night. Apophis is one asteroid which crosses Earth's orbit. At one time, it held the highest record on the Torino scale because of a potential collision with Earth in 2029. Since then, the 2029 encounter has been determined to be a near miss. However, there remains a small probability that if the asteroid passes through a keyhole in 2029, it can potentially collide with Earth in 2036. It can potentially collide with Earth in 2036. Well, yeah, here's another one right here. You can see this is available. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Another close proximity graph showing how close Apophis, the destroyer, could be. The minor planet could be. Now, this is from Science Direct. It's available online at sciencedirect.com. This is just a quick excerpt. JPL, the abstract. Uncertainty in accelerations related to solar radiation can cause between 82 and 4,720 Earth radii, or Earth radius, which that is actually 3,959 miles. So you can take 3,959 times 82 and then times 4,720. And that could be the trajectory change relative 
to the SDM by 2036. Now think about that for a minute. What does that actually mean? Well, that means that there is a possibility of a traje trajectory change of between 324,638 miles and 18,686,480 miles. That's a pretty big difference in orbit, is it not? That would actually be enough to just smack the planet. Kaboom! Welcome to the new New World Order. Now, this thing's supposedly only 370 meters approximately in diameter. And supposedly, there's a slam dunk on the planet about every 80,000 years of a minor planet of this size. Now, talks about how there's if an actual hazard exists, alteration by 2 to 10% of Apophis total absorption of solar radiation in 2018 could be sufficient to produce a six standard deviation trajectory change by 2036. Given physical characterization, even a 0.5% change could produce a trajectory shift of one Earth radius by 2036 for all possible spin poles and likely masses. Planetary ephemeris uncertainties are the next greatest source of systematic error, causing up to 23 Earth radii of uncertainty. That's 23 times 3959 miles. The SDM Earth point mass assumption introduces an additional 2.9 Earth radii of prediction error by 2036. So, that means they don't really know, except for they see that it's going to get really, really close, and if it goes slam, well, guess what? They warned you. They said it could happen, but you know what? You just believed that article strictly that came out on the news and said, oh, it likely could hit, but you know what? They came back into the calculations and said it probably won't. But they don't know. But there's only a percentage chance that's less than you might consider being even worth thinking about because of the analysis that we put together. According to statistics that don't really jive with the original computer models, that would freak people out too much. So we just manipulated it a little bit. And we just, you know, changed the words around and stuff. And then we started adding some stuff that most people don't know what it means anyway. So those that even do know what it means, they say, oh, well, you know, there's been plenty of these before, so there's nothing to worry about. Now, what's on my 657-pound life? And isn't there some basketball game going on or something like that? Now, I must admit, I did enjoy the Conor McGregor, <laughs> Conor McGregor fight. That was a good fight. Although... He gassed out at the end there. He definitely gassed out at the end. Mayweather and McGregor. I was surprised McGregor didn't get any solid punches in. But I'll tell you, Mayweather, man, that guy's just fast. That dude's like, wow, is he quick. He is definitely quick. But guess what? We're talking about boxing and mixed martial arts now and entertainment when... Originally, we were discussing asteroids and minor planets and Apophis and the Aten class, the Apollo class. Once again, we'll take a look at this orbit. The, I mean, this thing gets close. Bad boy gets pretty close. And then there's even, it almost hits another comet. There's like another comet that gets close. Look at all those bad boys. They're just saying hello. We just wanted to, to get really close and boom! Look at that. Looks like It looks like those two asteroids hit each other, doesn't it? Now, let me ask you this. What if that one asteroid hits Apophis and it pushes Apophis into the Earth's orbit? A Category 4 is as high as it gets on the Torino scale. But as you guys know, it's just highly concentrated swamp gas from Uranus. Yeah, that's right. I said it. What are you going to do about it? Bingo! LeakProject.com. Be excellent to each other and be the change you want to see. Nanny, nanny, nanny.